So we start with, again, our kicker, can-can dancer, a football player or field goal kicker, whatever you, whatever part of the world you're in, you know, taekwondo, whatever part of the world that you're in, we want to do that. And we're going to take that shape, place it at the very end of your fingerboard. One finger will remain straight and the other finger will touch on the top of your, right here, on the very top of your bow. We're going to draw that bow, right? It's going to draw now. So the goal of this exercise is to have your fingers in a set sort of framework so the bow remains on the same place. And don't cheat, don't move it. So if you start and stop and your bow remains in the same place, you should be able to touch it on either end to end. See what I'm doing? It touches here and never nothing moves and then it touches here. It's exactly like a balance thing. You are, there's a point in balance where you have to sort of trust that you have it. If you constantly think about the balance, you then you will you'll slip and fall or you will you will un go unbalanced there are periods of time where you just have to know the balance is there you can also repeat this on the g string so set up your fingers don't move them now you have your framework place it nice and stiff you will feel the bow go away from the finger and then if you are correct, we'll take that leap of faith and it will come back. If you do it correctly, it should return back to your index finger. And the goal is, again, can you do this? We're going to make sure how this here, this shape, will translate into a straight bow with practice. It may seem a little awkward right now, but I guarantee you, if you can do this, this will help you learn how to stay in the same place on the string.